Hey guys, Jude Smith here. I'm here at Ocean Way Studios here in Nashville, Tennessee uh, with my good friends Runway Audio. Uh, they helped me get my pedal board set up and in great shape. And uh, so I thought now is a good time to talk about my pedals. There's been a lot of you asking about the pedals that I use. And uh, I've got, you know, a couple different ones floating in and out of the board at all times. Uh, but these are my favorite eight here that are uh, my go-to. So I uh, thought I'd give a close-up look of them and uh, show you how I like to use them. Cool, so most important pedal we have on this board is the tuner, Polytune. Uh, this thing's great. Um, I don't use the whole Polytune option where you can like, you know, strum all the strings and, you know, tune everything at once. I think it's a cool feature, but I've never used it. Um, anyway, get yourself a tuner. The first pedal you need to get is a tuner. Amen, moving on. Cool, so the next thing, I, I'll just explain my signal chain first. Um, well, how I'm doing this is I'm going through the tuner to my compressor. Um, to uh, drive here, another drive here, to chorus, to wah, and then to delay, and then to reverb. Um, so that's the signal chain there. I just like to, I mean, you can do it in different ways, obviously, but I like to compress my signal first, then I can distort it. And sometimes if I've got a volume pedal, I might put it right about in here somewhere um, before my modulated effects and after my distortion so that you know, if I'm, you know, lifting or if I'm, you know, swelling in or something, I've got all that distortion, you know, behind the pedal. Um, and so that's how I kind of prefer to do it. But more often than not, actually, I don't have the uh, volume pedal on the board. So, um, yeah, so then I have my, you know, chorus and wah before that, so that if I'm distorting something, it's getting distorted before it gets wad. Um, and then, you know, I have these before the delay, so that it's delaying the wah and so on. And then I have the delay behind the reverb so that you know it sounds like it's in a room. So that's kind of the reason for everything being in that order. It matters what you know order you have them in. Um, so experiment with that and you know get what you like. So um, yeah. So from the beginning here, this compressor. This is from Vertex FX. Um, this guy is great. Um, it's got a lot of different options here. It's got you know compressor volume. It's got sustain ratio, um, and that's all you know engaged by this button here. So this is clean here. I'll just play my clean tone. So that's clean tone there. And this is with the compressor on here. Now for beginner guitar players, you may be going, that sounds like no different at all. The, what's important is the feel behind it. It feels different and tighter to me. Um, you will, if you've got some headphones on, you can hear the difference. Um, basically, it's just a lot tighter, and it's basically raising the volume of whatever you're playing to a more average level. Um, it's compressing it, hence being called a compressor, um, and getting it to an average level to where everything kind of you know sits in, in one spot. And it's really fun if you're playing stuff like this. For it to feel tighter and more compressed. So it's fun to have this pedal on, and honestly, it's more of a feel pedal. It makes you feel the guitar a little bit differently. So get your hands on one and experiment with it because until I used one, I didn't really understand it. So now that I have one, um, I really like this guy, and it, it helps you know the guitar feel tighter and a lot punchier. So um, yeah, that's the first side of the Vertex uh, Nile pedal here, Nile compressor. The other side is a preamp, um, and you can actually, the preamp side down here has preamp volume, EQ, and gain. And on this side, I just kind of have it just kind of clear, just used as a boost. So this is clean, or this is totally clean here. And I kind of just use the preamp as, you know, a boost, so. It's not really coloring the tone very much, um, but I just use it as a boost if I need a little bit more volume. So, um, yeah, so that's the Nile, um, you know, compressor by Vertex. So, uh, moving on, this is the um, Arenal uh, distortion pedal. Uh, it's kind of, it's more of an overdrive kind of uh, boost pedal, if you will. Um, but uh, it's made by Little Indian. Uh, they're a great uh, pedal company from Costa Rica. Uh, they sent me this guy, and honestly, I tried it out, and for the first time I put it on, I was like, wow, this thing's amazing. So, so this is clean here. And this is with the pedal on. So 
So it adds a lot of growl to it. And it's one of those pedals where you can kind of like really bite into it and it behaves differently when you're, you know, you know, when you're biting on the strings a little more. So you know, it behaves differently the more you're kind of uh, you know, you know, getting into the strings and kind of just, you know, fighting it a little more. It'll break up a little bit more the tougher you play. So that's a really cool pedal. It kind of sounds like a tube amp kind of breaking up. So that's really cool. So go check out Little Indian. They've got some cool stuff. Cool. So this next guy is the Full Drive 2 MOSFET by Full Tone. Uh, a lot of guys have this pedal. Um, it's a pretty popular pedal. Um, I like it because it's got the option for compressor cut um, right here. So it's a little knob. You can go up if you don't want it to compress. Um, and then you can come back here if you want it to kind of squash it a little bit. And it's fun. Uh, because if I need something to, you know, really get, you know, like a squash solo tone or, you know, really rip, uh, it's fun to, you know, get this guy going. So this is, this is clean. And this is with it on. So, so this guy's really fun and it's got this boost option on the side here. rips there that's really fun um, sometimes I'll just leave the boost option on there and then if I turn it on then it's got both of them ready to go right there and it's just nasty so that's the full drive too that thing's pretty fun so if I'm soloing or something it's probably on that guy um, or going to you know a couple other pedals um, that I got before that one of which an honorable mention for you know a, a overdrive boost guy that I like to use that's not on here right now is the Soul Driver uh, by Exotic Effects. I use that thing a lot. It's a little silver pedal. It's got kind of a reflective surface on it. That thing's awesome. You should go check that out. That's one of my other favorites. So moving right along, this is the Dimension C here. Uh, this is just a cool chorus pedal here. So here's clean. And this is with the chorus on it. Really, really cool, like just 80s stuff. And I believe this is an 80s, uh, um, an 80s model right here. This is um, just basically just got one, two, three, four, um, you know, levels of intensity for chorus. I usually like it on one. Or, you know. So it's really cool. It just gives you that classic, like, 80s chorusy tone. So it goes all the way from one, all the way to four. And that's really cool too, you know. If you throw some reverb on that. Straight out of the 80s. So I love this guy. Uh, Tomo uh, Fujita told me about this pedal on Instagram. So I had to check it out, and I'm so glad I did. And I don't think I'll be getting another chorus pedal for another while. So that's the Dimension C. I love that guy. Now. This is probably my favorite pedal I own. Um, I have a lot of people asking about this pedal. Um, I try to comment as much as I can back, what is that wah pedal? And this is it. So this is the Boss FT2. Um, I guess how I heard about it was a friend of mine, I was at a, a session and he had it on his board and I tried it out and I was like, dude, I've got to have that. And it seems to me that like everybody who hears this pedal is the same way, they've got to have it. So I love this thing. Um, it's kind of hard to find. This is an 80s model as well. It's kind of um, you know, hard to get. But if you keep an eye on Reverb.com or eBay, you might find one for about $250, I think. Um, but it's, you know, it's a, similar to the Qtron and other you know, envelope filters, dynamic waz. Um, but yeah, this is clean here. And this is with it on. So I just love how quacky it is, and there's a couple different options on it here. So if we come down here, this is your sensitivity for how um, sensitive it is to you, you know, biting into the strings. Um, I change these up quite a bit, but um, yeah, for, for now, I've just got, you know, the cutoff about here. Uh, and basically, if you roll this down here, 
this is going to make your overall tone darker. So if we've got it there, then it's going to be. And that's really cool, too. It almost feels like you're going deeper underwater, and it's like really, um, it's like really muffled. Um, and then the harder you bite into it, the more it reacts. You know, so if you're. So it's really expression, expression it, and um, I like it because it's it's just like a really unique sound. Um, and for me, I don't think I'll again like the Dimension C like be looking for a wah anytime soon because it's just been so fun. So I usually kind of like it somewhere about right in here. But you know, again, mess around with it when you get it and you know see what you like. It's also got an uh, an up and down you know feature. This is up. It doesn't seem to be useful for me. But... It's basically reversing the wah. So it's like when you bite into it, it goes more. It goes deeper under the surface almost. It's got that. I've not really found the right use for that. I just keep it on down right there because, you know. I can stay there for days. So that is the Boss FD2. That's my favorite pedal when I fly. I put it in my carry-on because I don't want to get in lost. So um, yeah, and then this guy moving right along. This is the um, Flashback uh, by TC Electronic. Um, this pedal is awesome, and I'll explain why. You basically got four, you know, buttons down here. These are presets that I've set here. Um, so you, you know, I've got here right now quarter delay, dotted eighth delay, and then um, quarter plus dotted eighth. And you can assign those. It's got all different note va beat values right here, um, and then you can hold it down to, you know, like make a preset right here. It'll turn green. That means you made a preset. So I've got those three there because those are the three that I use most often. And then you got tap right here. You know, it's a great pedal. I just love being able to have a preset. Boom, go hit it and um, easy. So I don't like the pedal dance too much. That's the great thing about these pedals that I just turn them on and they work and they've, um, you know, make the job easy. So I think that's what you need in, in a pedal that you just turn it on and it's fun. So um, love this delay because just got three options that I need right there and it's pretty good to go. So. Um, yeah, and then last but not least, I've got this reverb here. Um, I use this guy more more so for um, you know splitting into uh, you know two amps, um, and I don't really use the reverb very much. Honestly, the tones that I like are really just clean and dry guitar tones. So um, it's a decent reverb. <laughs> But if I'm being honest, I have it on there as more of a formality because I need something to stereo split on the end. Um, I'm more of a, like I said, a, a dry guy than a reverb guy. But um, yeah, so that's the Boss RV3 uh, for anyone curious about that one. So, so this has been the Jude Smith gear breakdown, pedal board breakdown. I hope that was useful for you guys. Um, a lot of these pedals are uh, near and dear to my heart because they make playing fun. So I encourage you to find the pedals that make playing fun for you because you know, people ask me a lot about what's gonna help, you know, what's gonna help me go to the next level as a guitar player. And for me, the answer is not pedals necessarily. You know, you have to, you know, work on your technique as a player, you know, with your hands and get your hands right. Um, but once you've done that job, you know, moving to, you know, finding flavors that, you know, make the job uh, more interesting and make creating, you know, more fun, that's a really important thing too. So these tools have been awesome for me because they've had songs come out of them from inspiring me with tones. And uh, so that's what you got to find. So hope this has been helpful, and uh, I'll see you next time.